started about 10 years ago when we purchased a, a guest lodge uh, on the garden route and uh, <clears throat> after modifying and uh, fitting more bathrooms we ended up with eight or nine geezers. The council could only supply us with about it was, I think an 80 amp circuit breaker. Um, we obviously needed way over a hundred and that wasn't going to work for us. Uh, we then had a, f had a fully booked guest lodge for Christmas and no hot water obviously and uh, we started uh, designing what is now the power guard in its uh, simplest form obviously using mainly relay logic in those days and uh, uh, did a priority switching system starting from the kitchen uh, with a stove and uh, prioritizing loads being drawn from the circuit breaker and uh, we quote quite well we never had any uh, trips or circuit breaker trips and we never had cold water either We've established that peak demand is the crisis in the country, not the average demand. Peak demand, if you consider a block of flats for example, I think it's a fact of life that most people shower or bath in the mornings. If you think between 7 and 9 in the morning, probably 80% would, would, would be leaving that, that block of flats. That means that probably 80% of those geezers will be on at that time. Power guard was employed there, you'd have that big demand at that time. I believe it's the only product that addresses the whole power supply problem, starting from uh, from the power station right up to to the to the domestic home. PowerGuard actually makes sure that when power is restored, that all the devices that we control are actually switched off for several minutes. And uh, the reason for that is to make sure that um, that power is, 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 is restored and stabilizes. It addresses issues like um, maximum loads that have to be catered for after a, uh, uh, after a shed incident. Uh, <clears throat> this is a very important factor because the moment you shed a domestic area, three, four hours later, the 20 or 30 percent of the geysers that were actually on during the period before the, the load shed occurred, 100 percent of those geysers will now be on. So you've probably got a load three, four, up to five times higher than what you uh, shed into. And the implication on switchgear and cabling is, is, is horrendous. Some uh, construction companies are not allowed to build uh, uh, residences or flats, for that matter, because they don't have enough peak supply to the to the proposed building. If they, for example, had to introduce power guard to an existing uh, structure, the size or the complexity of which they uh, are going to build themselves, as well as into the uh, structures that they're going to be completing. You'd be back to the peak demand that you were looking at before this construction went up. PowerGuard also in its final DPM 10 slash 4 will allow you to run a generator for example as a standby power which can be programmed to a, to a different power setting. In other words, if you do get a, a load shed situation and your standby power kicks in, PowerGuard will automatically address a different load uh, setting and uh, structure the, the, the switching of appliances for the uh, size of the generator that you employ. If you have uh, 
devices, for example, like um, energy recovery pump stations, where they spend megawatts to try and pump energy up hill into dams and then allow it to flow through back into the grid or, or flow back through turbines to aid the grid during peak demand times. There's a lot of uh, additional energy being spent just, just to complete that cycle. The important thing to know is that PowerGuard is self-regulatory. It, it, it doesn't need uh, external signals to make it work. And PowerGuard, the, 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 the switching elements have been tested an equivalent of 50 years um, switching duty cycles at higher currents than what we actually uh, uh, advocate. You can set the demand criteria for each household and um, the moment you transgress we will shed or the power guard will shed uh, devices like geysers, swimming pool pumps, underfloor heaters, air conditioners uh, to maintain a, a, a low peak demand. If you fit power guard once uh, you've solved a problem for a hell of a long time without any further administration. 